Hello everyone. So this is going to be a fairly short video. Uh, so we have uh, in the previous video we created the we implemented the behavior definitions. Now what we need to do is we need to project the behaviors uh, that we want to expose to the outside world. Um, so we are going to project all the behaviors except delete. Uh, although in this uh, session though we will go ahead and expose uh, we will project all the behaviors and later on uh, we can go ahead and uh, comment out the delete part of it. Uh, so if I go to this slide here, um, okay, so the projection of a business object, uh, we what we are planning to do here is we want to project only a subset of the business object. Uh, so in our case, the business object has uh, multiple behaviors, and we only want to project a subset of it. And in addition, what we can also do is uh, we can provide an alias, uh, a subset of this uh, business object as well. Uh, now, this is the first step that will have an impact on the service uh, because if we do not project the delete operation, so then this delete operation will not be in the final service. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we can go ahead and uh, do this projection. So I will go to my Eclipse ADT again. And I'm going to go into my consumption uh, file. Uh, if I go into my consumption CDS view, I can right click on this and I can say new behavior definition. And I can say next. And I can say finish. Um, so what it will do is it will go ahead and create this template for me. Uh, and you can see that it has already uh, taken create update and delete and also the action set active uh, which is pretty good and this is what we want to do we may want to uh, comment out delete because we don't want to project delete but for now I'm going to leave it as it is and later on uh, remove delete um, so uh, I also have a code snippet here uh, which is pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to change anything except this alias here. Um, so if I go into my projection and I'm going to say alias as UX team. Okay, so everything looks good to me here. Uh, now we can also uh, we can also use e tag here uh, in case because we have uh, these creation and all of that stuff. Uh, so this allows us for any kind of uh, conflict resolution as well. Um, so I can save this. Now you might ask me um, if uh, because in our uh, implementation in our uh, uh, in our def, uh, behavior definition file, we have a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, we have this action set active, uh, which we did bring in here. Uh, okay, so that makes sense. But then uh, what about the other ones? What about the determination, the change salary? Uh, and what about this validation, validate age? Uh, why is this not being projected? Uh, and the reason for this is fairly simple. Whether we pro uh, we cannot skip the projection of these uh, determination and validation, because doing so will invalidate your data. Uh, say, for example, we have a validation where we want to validate age, uh, so we want to make sure that everyone's age is above 21 in the database. Now, if we do not project this, uh, then you can easily add a member that is. Uh, um, 18 or 19, less than 21. Uh, so these validations and determinations, uh, they are integral to the data integrity. Uh, so, so that's the reason why uh, we cannot skip the uh, projection. So they are automatically projected. Uh, so, um, so that's why we don't have to specify it here. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the delete or maybe even the action, uh, these are all uh, optional, right? So if you don't want to project it, you can comment it out. Uh, in our case, at this moment, I will go ahead and project all of them. Although later on, I'll show you how easy it is. We can simply um, comment out one of these lines. And then the final OData service that gets created uh, will not have the delete functionality. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and project everything. 
and I will save it and I will go ahead and activate it and the activation is uh, complete here uh, so what we have done if we take uh, a step back and look at what all the stuffs we have done uh, we have uh, start we started with a table uh, we created an interface uh, view uh, we created a consumption view a metadata extension file uh, we defined the root entity for the business object uh, we define the behavior definitions we then implemented the behavior definitions like step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it and now we have uh, defined the behavior projections so uh, pretty much we have uh, projected all the behaviors uh, and at a later stage we will comment out delete and then activate it as well okay in the next session we can do the service definition and the service binding thank you